going on everybody um this is aj levitt with up nexa welcome back to the up nexa youtube channel in today's video we're going to be going over online ordering and setting up the online ordering remote firing printers and everything online ordering with clover pos we are doing this on the clover duo but this same steps will apply to the clover duo the clover mini and of course the clover flex now first place we're going to start is the home screen like always we're going to navigate over to the setup app right here so once we click on setup and we click on online ordering it's going to take you over to this page here normally this will show all the different online ordering platforms that you're on like uber eats grubhub doordash etc and this is important because instead of having those tablets just sitting around your business taking up a ton of counter space you can have all third-party online ordering along with online ordering directly through your website all integrated and going through clover and clover's reporting stage now since we're on the online ordering page we're going to click right over here over on settings once you click on settings, you're gonna see your food preparation time. This will vary business to business. Generally with quick service restaurants, we like to do somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes. Depending on your average fulfillment time, you can change this in a multitude of ways, starting at five minutes, ranging all the way to 90 minutes. That would be probably for bigger orders or catering orders. But for argument's sake, we're gonna start at 20 minutes and then click submit. So now you can see the food preparation time was successfully changed to 20 minutes. Now we're gonna go over to remote firing device. What this means, and this is a very important part of the setup process for online ordering firing through Clover, is let's say you have multiple devices, right? Let's say you have a Clover Duo, you have a couple Clover Solos, a few Clover Flexes. Generally, you wanna pick one of those devices to be your hub for collecting and receiving the online orders. So for argument's sake, we're gonna keep it with the Clover Station, and then going down to Remote Firing Printer click on that now the remote firing printer this is where the order tickets and the main expo ticket will show up so if you already have your kitchen printer set up or your kitchen display screen whatever it may be those will automatically populate here and you'll see that those order printers will be will have a label attached labels in the world of clover just means where the item will print and you can set up certain items to uh, print in certain places so we have our label set up and now we have our kitchen printer set up the star sp700 that works perfectly with clover pos is our label printers now i've always fully recommending having a expo ticket print out for all online orders you can staple this ticket to the bag at the very least it helps you fulfill the order and package the order properly especially if you have uh, I, uh, items printing at multiple places like having multiple kitchen printers something like that um, I would definitely have an expo printer so once you click select a expo printer I always recommend doing the printer um, attached to the clover POS it helps notify the employees when the online orders come in number one and number two again you always want to have your expo ticket to make sure the order is packed properly once we click on station 2018, click on save, and now all of your online orders will print exactly where you want them. Any changes can also be made directly from the screen. If there is anything I missed on this video, feel free to comment on the video below or shoot us an email at info, that's I-N-F-O, at upnexa.com, U-P-N-E-X-A.com, and we'd love to help you out a little bit further. But that wraps up the today's video for online ordering printing settings with Clover POS. Again, please like this video and subscribe for future Clover videos.